Hey, quick question. How many browser tabs do you have open right now? If you're like me, you probably have more tabs open than you can count on both hands spread across multiple browser windows in an attempt at trying to stay organized just to end up losing track of which tabs are in which windows, frustrated at the total loss of organization and ultimately closing all of the windows just to repeat the same cycle. Not to worry though, your disorganized self is not alone. I'm right there with you and I have a solution. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris. I'm a software developer who's always on the hunt for ways to boost productivity, improve quality of life, and maximize efficiency, ultimately sharing the things I find most useful here in these videos. So back to that disorganized browser issue that you and I share, the solution is an app called Sigma OS. Let me explain. Sigma OS is a browser alternative that has a ton of useful features, but the primary thing is what Sigma calls workspaces. Now, these workspaces allow you to organize all of the browser tabs, windows, and any other apps you might have open into a single location. So instead of losing yourself in a sea of tabs across the tops of multiple browser windows and having a dock full of open apps that spans the entire bottom portion of your screen, you can launch one app, set up workspaces for all of the different areas of your life, and categorize them by project, task, or topic with all of the relevant tabs and apps inside. The brilliant thing about workspaces though is in how they can be set up. Separate profiles allow you to stay logged into multiple different accounts like email addresses, social profiles, etc., all at the same time. You can turn on incognito mode for an entire workspace when you need to do some sketchy browsing and turn it off when you reach post sketchy browsing clarity. You can also set up shared workspaces for collaborating on work with others on things like class or work projects. Personally, I have a shared workspace for my team and I to collaborate on content and video ideas that houses all of the tabs and apps that we use like Notion for project management and note taking. And before anyone runs to the comment section, yes, there are browser plugins and things like Chrome profiles that function similarly to workspaces, but those not only share the same cookie jars, meaning you're not able to stay logged into multiple different accounts, they also use a hell of a lot more RAM. Sigma OS is a WebKit browser, meaning it was developed using the same engine as Safari and optimized for Mac users. Not only that, but this app was built with speed and efficiency in mind through single key shortcuts. Want to create a new workspace? Just press W. Need to edit a current workspace or change the icon of one? Just press Option W. Are you nose deep in split screen mode doing research on one side and taking notes on the other, but need to quickly look up something? Just press space to open a new page, type to find what you're looking for, then press D to mark that page is done and get straight back to work. So if you wanna prolong the life of your Mac, avoid your computer sounding like it'll blast off into orbit when the fans kick in from the increased RAM usage and boost your productivity and efficiency, this app is the way to go. The best part is that switching from any other browser like Safari or Chrome is extremely easy and takes just a couple of minutes. And I'll walk through exactly how to do just that so you can make the switch, set up custom workspaces that suit your needs, and get up and running with all of the best features in this video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get it downloaded. Downloading the app is as easy as clicking the link that I put in the description below the video or the one that should pop up on either side of this screen to go straight to the website and download it directly from there. And then once you have it downloaded, go ahead and use Alfred or Spotlight to open the app and you'll see this really cool introductory screen. Click I'm new and use one of the sign up options to create your account and log in. Now for new accounts, there's a pretty cool seven step setup starting with selecting the type of user you are. In my opinion, this is an awesome way of onboarding new users, but don't think too much into what you choose here. Based on what you do choose, the app will give you pre-built workspaces with pages and apps they think you'll use, which Again, in my opinion, is a solid starting point, but at the end of the day, you'll most likely end up editing them, adding new ones, and end up with a completely customized setup anyways. On first launch of the app, there is a brief walkthrough of the UI. It shows what pages are, how they're grouped within workspaces, and using split screen for multitasking. Now, before we dive into the core features like setting up custom workspaces, reviewing shortcuts, and so on, let's go into the app preferences by clicking Sigma OS in the menu bar, and then preferences. First up, go ahead and choose your theme. Personally, I go with dark or magic because of how many hours I spend behind the screen. Here you can also set your search engine, password manager, and whether or not you wanna use the built-in ad blocker here. Personally, I do use the ad blocker. Uh, I use DuckDuckGo for the search engine and NordPass for the password manager. Within external links, go ahead and set SigmaOS as the default browser. 
And the preferred workspace is where any links that are shared with you via text, email, or any other method that someone will send you a link will be opened. I personally keep it on the shared with me workspace, so I know that any link I received from someone else will be opened inside of this workspace. Now we wanna make sure our Sigma OS app auto syncs. So inside of the syncing tab, we wanna make sure workspaces and pages is active. We also want cookies activated so we can be logged into multiple different accounts at the same time. Within the advanced tab, turn on WebKit Plus for the best performance and support for a larger amount of Chrome extensions and high refresh rates if you have a MacBook Pro with the ProMotion 120 hertz display. All right, so there are three main parts to this app. First, the left panel, which is where your workspaces are housed. To quickly hide or show the panel, just hit Command and the left arrow. And everyone will have unique collections of workspaces and based on the user type that you chose during your initial setup, you might already have pre-built ones available, although you will at some point want to create new workspaces. So just as an example, let's create a new workspace for social media. So type the shortcut W or click the plus button on the left side of the panel to create one. There are a number of templates available, but since we know this will be a social media workspace, let's go ahead and name it social media. Now you wanna pick a relevant icon to the workspace. So for a workspace dedicated to social media, I think the iPhone emoji will be perfect for this. If you ever wanna change the name, emoji, or settings of a workspace, press option W or click the workspace name to make the change. And whenever you wanna delete a workspace, just right click on the name or icon and then delete workspace. Although if you accidentally delete a workspace and wanna get it back, just hit the shortcut Z and it will repopulate in the panel. In my opinion, the brilliance of Sigma OS and what makes it such a powerful productivity tool is that it was intended to be used in full screen mode with single key shortcuts for ease of use when bouncing between workspaces and features like split screen. You can do most things within this single window and the development team is continuously adding new features and integrations, but there are certain things that haven't been implemented yet. So I use a built-in macOS feature called Mission Control to create a secondary desktop. To access Mission Control, you can hit Control in the up arrow or slide four fingers up on the trackpad if you have gestures enabled. And this allows you to create a secondary desktop. This lets me use Sigma OS in full screen on the first desktop and with a quick four finger swipe to the right, across the trackpad, I can easily switch between Sigma OS and anything else I need to access, like WhatsApp or messages on the secondary desktop. In the event that you forget a certain shortcut or you wanna see if there's one for whatever it is you're trying to do, just hit C and the cheat sheet with all of the available shortcuts will open in the left side panel. And then with this left side panel, you can open and close it with the shortcut Command Right. One incredibly useful thing from a psychological perspective outside of the organized nature of workspaces is how the app treats your pages like a to-do list. You know, it just feels good to check something off of a to-do list. When you're done with the page, just use the D shortcut to mark the page as done, which will remove it from the workspace like a task that's been completed. And if you realize you weren't actually done yet and need to reopen a close tab, hit Z to undo it and see it repopulate in the workspace. The lazy search feature is one of the best things about Sigma OS and the best way to add new pages to a workspace. For example, if I wanna add Facebook to my social media workspace, I can go to the workspace, hit the space bar, type Facebook, and watch it open the page inside of that workspace. The brilliant thing about lazy search though is that it's not only for searching the web, it also searches your workspaces for existing tabs. So in the event that something pops up that you wanna open a new page for, as you start typing, it'll search for any existing pages across all of your workspaces. Not only that, you could also use Lazy Search to search for browsing history, set your preferences, write a new tweet, or start a new page with any of the existing commands like opening a new Word doc, Excel sheet, Notion page, etc. Yes, the organizational structure within the app is on point, but sometimes you wanna be more focused on the work you're doing without any distractions, and that's where the beauty of focus mode lies. By using the shortcut F, the app directly focuses on whatever it is you're watching, reading, or working on. And if at any point you have an idea you wanna quickly search or open a new page to save for later, just use that same F shortcut to exit focus mode, hit space to use lazy search, type whatever it is on your mind to open a new tab, and then get back into focus mode with the same shortcut to finish what you were doing. Now, in my opinion, something the Sigma OS team really got right is how you're able to share things, which can be done as easy as using the S shortcut while on any page you wanna share with someone. 
For example, I promised my girlfriend I would book us dinner reservations this week and just so I don't end up carrying my own cross into a restaurant that doesn't have something on the menu she'd like, I can use Lazy Search to pull up the menu in a new page and hit S to quickly send the menu to her over text, email, or even Twitter if I wanted to. So on to the important topic of pricing. Now, Sigma OS is free, but there is a pro version for just $8 a month that gives you access to features like unlimited workspaces, cross-device syncing, and co-browsing. Although, with it being a productivity tool, they do offer a 50% discount on pro plans for students and educators, making it just $4 a month. But, I mean, even at $8 a month, I think with everything you get out of the app, with the quality of life improvements and boost in productivity, I think it's absolutely worth it. Hell, even if the app was free, I'd happily donate a monthly amount just to support the team behind it and their efforts to support new updates, which they push every week on Thursday. So, there you have it. From download and set up to exploring the features that'll supercharge your productivity the most, I hope you found some value in this video. And if you already use Sigma OS or plan to use it by clicking the link in the description, let me know in the comments what types of workspaces you will set up because like I said, I'm always interested in better ways to do things. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.